in my last video I looked at uh, LEDs and how they're sensitive to light and uh, there was a question on that video from Capri who asked whether if we put them in series we can get extra voltage out of them. And I didn't know the answer so I thought I would try it. So I've set up three LEDs in series here and I've now I'm using the torch to light the LEDs because I, I needed a wider beam to hit all three of these. And so what we can do, so that's the, at the moment we've just got the one LED connected. So that's reading 1.16 volts. We'll add a second one. We've now got 1.71 volts. And if we add a third one, that's 1.77 volts. So yes, we do seem to be able to add the the voltage if we add more LEDs, which kind of makes sense when you think about it, because the the voltage is caused by the um, the photons hitting the PN junction and causing some electron movement. So the, the more LEDs you've got, the more voltage you should get. So the other question was, how much current is this, uh, is this generating? And that, in fact, I did put the meter on it yesterday, but couldn't read any current at all. But I'm thinking if this is, um, this is much brighter than what I was using as a, a, the light source before I was using one single LED. So I think we might be able to measure something now with this. So the XTEC meter is now set up in its microamps uh, mode. So we're going to read microamps. And let's see. Start with one LED. Let's see if we can get the best lighting on the LEDs there. Right, so we're getting a reading of. Uh, we, we're just about flicking onto one there, aren't we? So the last digit in the microamps reading a point one. We can sometimes see. There we go. Point point one microamps. So if we move to the second LED, I saw a two there for a second. So point two microamps. Move to three. It doesn't seem to have helped that much, does it? We get it to go to three. There we go, three, not point three microamps. So we're generating an absolutely tiny amount of current right on the limit of what I can measure with the XTEC meter, which I, I, I think this is the most precise meter that I have. So that's it, uh, experiment done, and hope that answers your questions.